Good evening. Tonight I'm going to try for you guys David Nicholson 1843 Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. 100 proof. This fine bourbon still possesses the outstanding character and quality established by the David Nicholson Distillery Original 43 recipe. David Nicholson 1843 Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Bottled by David Nicholson Distillery Company, St. Louis, Missouri. www.luxco.com. This is a Luxco product. They have a black label David Nicholson. I guess I think it's bond, bottled in bond. I'm not sure if really. I know it gets it gets a lot of good reviews. This one here. Well, let's explore it, shall we? I bought this. <laughs> last summer down in Florida at uh, ooh, what was the name of that place uh, dang it I can't think of the name of that place uh, big warehouse liquor stores anyway I purchased it down there and I gave like 23 bucks for it wasn't very expensive. It was a pretty good buy. I had never seen it here in Kansas, so obviously I took advantage of it while I was there and bought it. Brought it back on the airplane, put it in my whole baggage, no problems. Anyway, tried it a couple times, and I have put it away. This has been open almost a year now. Not quite a year, but I bet pretty doggone close to a year now. And... There's a reason that it's not been tested till now. And I'm going to go ahead and test it because I need to get this done. All right. We know because it says Kentucky State Bur Straight Bourbon and it doesn't have an age statement that it's at least two years old. Under four years, it has to be stated on the label. So you'll see a lot of bourbons that say 36 months. That is a Kentucky Straight Bourbon and it's, it's labeled. So we know it's at least four years old because of that. When anything beyond that, we don't know. 50% alcohol by volume, so the alcohol volume's up there. So we can be thinking, well, this is a pretty good product. And, and I mean, that's what I thought. I thought maybe I'm getting a diamond in the rough here. I'm really spitballing it. So this is after one year open, and I can tell you it has not helped it. It is a good medium dark amber color dark honey uh, it does have th the legs form quickly and fall quickly they're thin sparse legs they are not very thick there's a few that are a little slower but for the most part they're already down wood up front this is probably one of the woodier bourbons I've ever tasted I mean and we know that this is not an older bourbon or presumably not an older bourbon. Maybe a, we don't know. We just don't know. <laughs> it's it's. Leave it at that. But the wood hits you up front, and it's a bad wood. You can get through the wood. There's some caramel, vanilla, a little cinnamon there. And there's a faint, dull, lemony note in there on the nose. And that gives it, combined with that wood, that furniture polish feel. It's hot. Up front, heat wants to come back through your nose. Again, woody. A faint, and I mean a faint bit of cinnamon. You still get the caramel, 
The vanilla is not hardly there. It's there, but it's not hardly there. You get a faint cinnamon. Cinnamon's a little stronger now as it's getting toward into the finish. So cinnamon does kind of pick up as it goes into the finish. For all means and purposes, the finish is done. So it's a fairly short finish. And it finishes with cinnamon on that. I don't get the lemony in the palate that I get on the nose. But the wood is so dominating. So dominating. So astringent. After a couple of sips, your mouth acclimates to that astringency. So it does help. We're going to add some water to it because it's 100 proof and see what it does for it. There's a quarter. There's a half teaspoon in there. Try anything to help it a little bit. Without killing it. Wood still. Wood still. Caramel comes forward though more. Water does help it a little bit. We're going to add another half teaspoon. These are eighth teaspoons. So now we've basically got one teaspoon in. We've went too far. It's washed out most of the flavor. One half teaspoon is the most you want to go. I can't get past the woodiness. If you took toothpicks and soaked them in bourbon, really green wood toothpicks and soaked them in bourbon, and put them in your mouth to chew on, that would be what I would be getting out of that. I can't score it over 80. I'm going to give it, this is a case where proof doesn't really help. You would think that 50% would come through. I give it a 79 out of 100. I mean, I can drink it. You can drink it. It is a struggle, but you can drink it. It's not a pleasure. If a friend had it and said, I'd pour you some, I would politely decline. Ask him for anything. Something else. Not anything else, but something else. It's just, it's a difficult one. Now, that's all I'm going to say about this one. So remember, everybody, the spirit in your glass is not running from you. Take your time, sip and enjoy it. You'll be better for it. And everyone, have a good afternoon or evening. <laughs>